Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to generate this kind of a report uh, with the use of iReport Designer. And in this video, I will show you how you can open this report using your NetBeans Java project or your NetBeans IDE. So first of all, go to your NetBeans project and what I have done here is I have taken one button just drag and drop from the palette just that and I have named it iReport and now we will right click it go to event action and action perform once again action and action performed and here I have already taken a try catch block so you just write this blank try catch block and uh, after that we will start with our code before writing your code you just need to remember that this JFrame is already connected to your database and which is like this con is equal to java connect dot connector db's database so I, I think I have already shown you and if you are making the, the your software using the videos I have shown you you know what is this and the simple way is to see that if you have used some query into your program that means you are connected to your database it's simple as that so just remember that your frame is connected to the database using prepared statement result set and connection once again I will go to my report here yeah, I already have try catch block and now I will write the code here go here and first thing I will write is I will take a string string I will name it as report is equal to is equal to and double quotes and this and in here you need to give the path of your iReport file so for example my iReport file with the ex extension of jrxml is saved in the folder somewhere I will right click it go to its properties and I will copy the whole path of the file including the extension which is jrxml and I will paste in between these two codes and the next thing I think you know what to do why this is showing some error because we need to add two slashes instead of one in order to provide an absolute path so you have done that now the second thing is write jasper Jasper report 
and I will name its variable as JR stands for Jasper report is equal to Jasper compile manager right after that dot compile report and after that here double code and instead of null you just copy your report string variable in which you have transferred your path and just paste it here okay now in the next line what you need to do is write Jasper print and I will name this variable as JP for Jasper print is equal to Jasper fill manager dot fill report yes and after that close it and instead of this null you need to pass in three variable first is this jr variable just per report variable I'll copy it and paste it first second is null we don't want to write anything and third is your connection variable which I have shown you above which is con I will show you once again so at the first very first few line you have defined something like these connection con is equal to null result set rs is equal to null and prepared statement pst is equal to null so this con I will copy and I will paste as a third variable okay so what I have done is I have written Jasper report JP is equal to Jasper fill manager dot fill report first variable is JR which is this Jasper report variable second is null and third is your connection variable now in the next line write Jasper viewer dot view report and in this bracket this JP will come which is just per print variable so these four lines you need to write in order to show your Jasper report or your JR XML file when you click your button so what I will do now is I will try to run the program and see it runs or not run and it's taking some time so my pro program is running now and when I click this I report button my I report which I have generated with the help of I report designer should open so I will click it and first of all you can see two warnings here these are normal warnings so don't worry about these warnings and here you can see your report 
which you, you have generated with the help of iReport designer is here you can see now so this is a very simple J report I have made and I have opened with the help of NetBeans Java project in the coming videos we will make or add some more things new things in our report and I will also show you how to pass the parameters from Java to iReport directly so you can generate your report more easily and more dynamically so I hope you have learned something new this time and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now